was your reaction when I asked you to speak about drugs? Um, well, I thought if I could be of some help, then that was, you know, towards your book, then that's cool. Um, I wasn't quite sure how anonymous I was going to be in this, whether... Uh, you know, whether it was just going to be like a candid conversation with me about drugs. I was trying to be as honest with you as I possibly could, mm -hmm. um, knowing that I'd had uh, a history of this. I was incredibly curious as to why I was chosen as subject material, thinking like paranoia, like, uh, what's he heard? You know, how does he know that I, you know, what, is my reputation that bad that people in Queensland are talking about it? <laughs> Um, you know, um, uh, could this be used in evidence against me, you know? I don't know, man, I'm just thinking what's best, uh, you know, it, it, you, you probably don't realise this, but it actually helps me a lot, it, uh, uh, healing, this kind of thing. Um, I used to, uh, I, have a, I have a friend I used to go and talk to just about how do you feel about this today, you know, like as I said, a day by day thing is the best way to start, get through each day clean and get through a day clean mm. and then tomorrow get through that day clean, you know. Pretty soon the days turn into weeks and the weeks turn into months and the months turn into years. And then when someone says, oh, when was the last time you used, I can proudly go two and a half years ago or three years ago or whatever. The, 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 the trick is, is to not get tempted five years down the track. Hmm. It's that if you're gonna you're going to straighten out, stay straight, you know, sustain that, um, you know, get, uh, I'm getting on and uh, I'm getting old and I want to get on with it, you know, without any obstacles, that's a big obstacle, that one. Um, and as, as I said, it wasn't something that became a problem that I resolved. It has been a recurring problem for most of my adult life. Even though I, I was like into my 30s when I started this problem, you know, and I was such a strong kid, I was like determined that I was never going to end up with a problem like this. But how, how wrong was I? And, I was also one of these guys that was throwing rocks, you know. I was like, oh, look at those, that junky scum, you know. And then suddenly I was one. <laughs> and it doesn't take much, that transition, from being a good kid to being junky scum. <laughs> but I wouldn't, um, my advice to people would be to not to treat people with the affliction of addiction as junky scum because everyone is different, every single case is different. Every single, you know, not everyone's a criminal. And, uh, you know, uh, many, many people have character flaws, not just junkies. Why did you say yes when I asked you to talk about this? What's that? Why did you say yes when I asked you? Why, why did I what? Why did you say yes to the interview? Oh, why did I say yes to the interview? Yeah. Well, firstly, I thought it was Andrew McMillan, the, uh, this guy that I knew. And, um, <laughs> and uh, you know, that as, I, as I said, I hadn't seen him for four years. I saw him up in Darwin. And uh, uh, Andrew McMillan, wrote some really good things about the Beast of Bourbon and the Johnnies back in the early 80s when he wrote for Ram and Rolling Stone. So I thought, yeah, I'll talk to Andrew McMillan about drugs. That'd, that'd be cool. But then 
I kind of also felt like it. Well, I've agreed to it. You're in Melbourne. It's, I can't really walk out of it now. I just, um, the only thing is, like, as I said, I had to change locale because we've got people at our place at the moment. So, um, you know. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, and it also because it helps me. Yeah. Um, if I talk about this sort of thing, it, it really does. It's like counselling. Yeah. So are you glad you said yes to the interview? Am I glad that I said yes to the interview? Um, I hope so. Well, I, I think I'll, be, I'll, I'll, get, I'll answer that when I see the publication. <laughs> okay. But, you know, if, if you allow me a little bit of editorial, then I'll be really happy about that. And, I, you know, um, but without ruining your work, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't want to sort of, you know, if there's, if there's something in there that's like, uh, I don't know about that. Angie Louise.